Turning now to that horrific school shooting in Georgia that left two teachers and two students dead. CBS News tonight has new information about the alleged teenage shooter, the gun he used, and prior warning signs, including his interests in school shootings. CBS's Mark Strassman is in Winder, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. Mark, I understand you've got some new reporting about how the suspect got the gun. What can you tell us? Yeah, Nora, multiple sources tell CBS News that investigators are now looking into the weapon used in this attack and whether it was given to the teenage suspect by his father as a gift last year. In equal parts grief and shock, Winder's grappling with Wednesday's horror at Appalachie High School. We're getting our first look at suspect Colt Gray, his mugshot. He had local law enforcement worried as early as last year. It's sad that we have that kind of evil in in our society. Janice Mangum's the sheriff in neighboring Jackson County. Her deputies first questioned the Gray family in 2023. The issue, the FBI had received anonymous tips about online school shooting threats posted on an app called Discord. Its username referred to the 2012 Sandy Hook gunman. In an incident report obtained by CBS News, a deputy reported the teen assured me he never made any threats to shoot up the school. Investigator Miller, I'm not saying you're lying, but it's, the team responded, it's a serious thing. His father, Colin Gray, told deputies the family owned hunting rifles. He added his son is allowed to use them when supervised, but does not have unfettered access to them. But without more to go on, the case was closed. Was this a missed opportunity? I don't think it was a missed opportunity, no. I think he did all he could do with what he had at that time. This is cell phone video of a school hallway right after the shooting. What appears to be an AR-style rifle lies on the floor. Today, at an event in Wisconsin, President Biden talked about the deadliest school shooting in Georgia history. We're grateful, the school personnel and first responders who proved and prevented more people from being killed or injured and brought the suspect to custody. But as a nation, we cannot continue to accept the carnage of gun violence. The teenage suspect makes his first court appearance in the morning. What worries law enforcement in this moment are copycat shooters. And just since the shooting here yesterday, Metro Atlanta Sheriff's offices have arrested at least two teenagers for making school threats. Nora? That is alarming. Mark Strassman, thank you very much.